morning everybody i am being really really quiet right now because it's very early in the morning um i did wake up at 5 a.m this morning but it is my day off so i kind of decided that i was just gonna chill in bed for like 45 minutes so i did get up at about 5 45 and started to just kind of like get ready for my workout and just kind of wake up what i like to do before i go downstairs um to my gym i like to tone my face and make my bed and just kind of get things done already just to feel like productive so making my bed in the morning is like a huge thing that helps me like feel kind of more put together and more like awake it wakes me up and then i also feel like i've just like accomplished something already in the day and then when you come back up from your workout like it's already done and it's just like you feel really good and i also do this with my sister we wake up at 5 a.m together in 2020 i really wanted to focus on becoming healthier working out more because i'm just sitting all day working on lashes i've gained a lot of weight so this is kind of like my little goal i will say like since i started waking up at 5 a.m i did start before christmas since i started waking up at 5 a.m i actually have lost about 10 pounds almost so i've just been working out more and just like eating healthier i don't know what just like i feel like my life is a lot more together so i have lost weight but i'm still nowhere close to where i want to be but i figured i would show you guys my journey as well as my 5 a.m routine because i am so much more productive when i do this routine So I'm going to head down and I will show a little bit of it. Um, if you guys want more on what I kind of do for a workout, then definitely let me know. But I'm going to go down with my sister and get a good cardio workout in. You literally can't see this like heart rate monitor thing you can get them on amazon but i honestly like i love it because i can track my heart rate while i'm working out so that i know when i'm in my target zone and when i go out of it so i actually also like to use it with um the app it's a it's the ddp app and it's actually a workout program that i joined last year which i really really love and it's all yoga workout um so i use that when i do yoga yeah, sorry it's DDP yoga. So when I go to do my workout, I can put in a custom workout on this as well. So it's not, you don't just have to do the yoga workouts to track on this. So this is what I use to track like all of my previous workouts, but I just go to custom workout and it's really, really nice because you can just connect your Bluetooth um, heart rate monitor with the app and then i get to watch my heart rate as i go so i find that that has helped me a lot to get really in my target zone and then i know if i'm going way too much and it's hurting my heart or if i'm not doing enough and i need to like start working harder when i'm working out okay <sighs> so today usually we do hello Friend. So usually I do the Lauren Geraldo workout. It's called 12 3 30 and basically you do 12 incline on the treadmill um, at like the speed like three speed and you do it for 30 minutes. Today I'm going to be doing only 15 minutes but doing like the same like incline and speed and then we are going to be doing a workout that um, I found on YouTube. It's like a cardio 
strength kind of challenge thing um, and it's another 15 minutes so basically I'm doing like 30 minutes of cardio and 30 minute workout and then we usually will hop in the sauna afterwards Okay, so as you can see, I'm super sweaty from that workout. It was really, really good. That workout, I burned a total of 400, almost 500 calories um, in this workout, which is really, really good for a 30 minute workout. Now we're gonna hop into the sauna. So I'm going to straighten my hair today. I usually straighten my hair just because it's a lot quicker so it's easier for when I'm like working and all of that. I don't really have to do much. Um, I either straighten my hair or I put it up. I like to make sure that my mornings are quick, but the beauty of waking up at 5 a.m. and working out and all of that is that you honestly like would have time for as much like getting ready as you want. I just like to have time for my scheduling and my planning and sometimes I do editing and all of that before I actually start in on a client day working and doing lashes. I like to make sure that things are quick. Like my usual like everyday morning routine takes about 45 minutes. So when I wake up at five, usually I'm worked out by 6.30 and then I'm getting ready and then I'm pretty much like ready for work at around like eight o'clock. I'm fully like ready, which is when I used to like wake up. I used to wake up at like eight o'clock Sometimes I'd wake up at 9 because I usually don't start my work day until 10. We are going to go get ready, do our makeup. I love doing my makeup in the morning just because I just feel like more put together if I have my makeup done. And then I like to wear something just like nice and professional or very like comfy but cute. I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand Burnett Label, but I love their clothes. Like they are so comfy it's all sweaters and stuff but they've got the cutest quotes on them they're very like good quality so they don't look like you're not trying like i can wear one of those sweaters to work and i look like i'm trying and it just suits my job and if you guys are in like nails or hair or lashes it's a really really good option for you guys please ignore the mess in the back of my video um, I will be cleaning up that stuff. I still have like all my Christmas stuff out and I just did some shopping um, So I have like a ton of stuff back there and I have a lot of water bottles Now that I'm seeing that there's just a lot going on back there. So please ignore it I'm sure you guys can relate but I just have not had time to put things away But today is my day off. So I kind of get everything that I want done On my day off so I use the Glow Foundation, um, the Luminous Liquid Foundation in Brulee, and I just do one pump onto my hand. It's very liquidy, um, which I really like because it's not like super, super crazy coverage. Like it just gives you that nice like 
I mean, it's buildable, but I don't like to cake it on. I like to just like look like my skin. Like, as you guys can see, I don't really use my beauty blender like I'm supposed to. Like I kind of like rub it all over my skin just to get it on. I'm really curious if any of you guys want to be a YouTuber. Like, are any of you guys like, oh, I really want to be a lash YouTuber or you just want to do YouTube in general? I'd love to know. And let me know if you want any videos like more specific to like how to film a video and how I edit or something like that. Like I, if you guys are interested in it, then I'll do it for sure. Next I'm going to use the Born This Way Concealer in Almond and I use this sparingly and I don't want to like cake it on too much or else I get like crazy amounts of like creasing and all of that because I have like really creasy eyes like they have like a lot of wrinkles underneath I'm literally 22 years old and I have like wrinkly eyes I will say though waking up at five and like doing all of this it just like makes you so much more motivated to get things done like it's just like you feel like your life is together that's the best part about waking up at five but I will say this is like the kind of day you want to do it on like do it on a day off because if you do it before work you are going to be exhausted like the first day or two is like really rough when you get used to it also go to bed early like i try and get into bed at nine latest and i try to fall asleep like right away because i have to wake up early in the morning and i really want to get like my eight hours or at least seven hours no matter how much I sleep, I'm always tired. Like, even when I literally, like, sleep in, I actually find I'm more tired. So waking up at 5, I just feel refreshed and I feel really good when I wake up at 5. Next, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever. This one's all messed up because it doesn't have, like, a latch to close. So I taped it one, I taped it one time and then whatever. Anyways, I use the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette in 40. This is what I use for my contour before I like powder and all of that. So I just go in and it just gives like that natural kind of like sculpt. And then I go in with bronzer later. Honestly, very quick with like, I just do it. Like I'm just like, okay, I'm not being a perfectionist. I'm not gonna like sculpt. I just find my face suits it better when I do like super sculpted stuff. It actually doesn't look good on me. So now I'm going to take the Pro Sculpting Palette in 20 and I use the blush from this. After that, I just go in again under my eye just to make sure that it's not creased. And then I take another wet beauty blender and I just set my under eye with it. After that, I will just take a brush. Oh, and the translucent powder I'm using is the Match Perfection. Just take a little brush. This is actually a highlighting brush, but I just like to put it in the places that I didn't put anything else. And I also like to use a smaller brush because I don't like using a big powder brush because I find that because I have lash extensions, I find it gets like the powder gets all into my lashes so I can like literally go like this not with like fresh powder on it but kind of at the end and I just set my eyes but it's easier to kind of be more of like a perfectionist with it if you do it that way okay my camera just died but I did my eyebrows they're not perfect but and I really need to clean them up but whatever so next I'm gonna do my eyes so I take this glow skin beauty eyeshadow stick and I literally just go like along it's sorry the color is orbit and it's just like a black and I literally just go like this this is like a tip to make your eyelashes look a lot fuller when you really need to fill so I skipped a step so I'm gonna do it right now Take this big fluffy brush, I'm gonna take my bronzer and I'm just gonna go all over the crease. And I go down my nose contour, do the same on the other side. Bring it out. I use the Butter Bronzer by Physician's Formula. 
So that literally takes like two seconds because it's just so like not perfect. That's why I love like products that I can just like literally put on really, really quick because I just don't have the time to be fooling around with my makeup. Do you put mascara on when I have no eyelashes left? This is a, I actually really like this one. Um, it comes off very easily off the lashes. It's the L Voluminous Lash Paradise by uh, L'Oreal. It comes off really, really easy. Just make sure you focus on more of the tips of the lashes rather than the um, bases. Like I never touch the base of the lash because that's just going to get all bunched up. And that's where I see like when I'm working, I see a lot of makeup in there in the bases. So I really try not to touch that. I just put a little bit on. I already did a lot of blush in the cream part of it. And then I take my Fenty Beauty.